Good afternoon. I wanted to share uh, briefly with you uh, some writings that uh, I did some years back that was published, and uh, I pray that it blesses someone somewhere. The part that I'm going to read starts by saying, We, as children of the Most High, are responsible to trust and to believe that God does love us and has our best interest at his very heart. This is salvation that I speak of. Being saved does not mean that we will not have to encounter some tests and trials in life. To mistakenly believe that we will be excused from suffering is a direct contradiction to what is declared in Scripture. Scripture reads, The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue him each time. Psalm 34 and 19, NLT. The Word of God promises that we will be delivered or rescued from these present sufferings. This means that Jesus Christ can identify with us, and not only does Christ identify with us, but has offered us a way out through Him. It is only when we go through Christ that we can fully experience the promise that is offered to us. The promise is the greatest love. Christ died and was raised for us that the Father may be pleased. And through him, scripture reads, and through him, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. Colossians 1 and 20, NLT. I am ever grateful for the love that God has so lavishly poured out from the Father to us. All that we have to do is fully accept the Father's wonderful offering of love and continue in his love toward one another. Scripture reads, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. That's John 15 and 9 from the NLT New Living Translation. I thank you for your time. I pray that this encourages someone and that it blesses someone. We can glean into the word of God no matter whatever it is we're going through because the word of God is living. It is the true and living, abiding word of God. This I fully believe and life has taught me such. I thank each and every one of you again for your time and I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day. Be blessed is my prayer until we meet again.